Hello, I'm going to show you quickly what equipment you need. I have an HP Pavilion um, Intel Core i5 8th generation laptop. You can also have a desktop, it doesn't matter. Um, and then I have a Logitech webcam. It's the Pro 22 and it adjusts the coloring and lighting pretty fast. I would not recommend using your webcam on your laptop unless it is really, really, really good because you'll get dark and um, pixels in your picture. I have a ring light here, actually two ring lights. You put them on either side of your laptop at an angle and it helps with the lighting on your face. I also have a desk lamp and I shine it up above so it's not on my face because then you start to get shadows. And I also have a goose neck lamp to give me some extra lighting. This is my headphone set. It's an MPOW that I got on Amazon. It does noise canceling, so that is very helpful when the kids come running downstairs or the dog starts barking. Um, some people, teachers have said they have headphones that do not block out the sound and the kids will start to hear the children speaking or the dogs barking. So you wanna make sure you get those noise canceling headphones and make sure they are soft because after four or five classes, my, my ears start to hurt. I take them off in between my class so that I give my head a break and make sure you have some padding here too or that will start to hurt. Um, I have my laptop on a card table so I have space for my props. Um, you will need your cell phone and to add the app on it. And I have a wired mouse because I was warned that if I used my battery one it could die during class and then you are stuck using your mouse on your laptop which is kind of awkward getting around for your games. Um, I also recommend a wired headphone too because if the battery goes out then you're stuck with no you you're stuck with no sound on your ears and what will happen is you can get your sound on your computer but you'll get feedback coming through with the students webcams and your webcam and everything and it's really really annoying <laughs> and you might get red tags if you do that uh, let's see here oh you also need an ethernet cable mine is 100 feet long and it runs along the basement ceiling all the way through a hole up into my bedroom where the router is and I recommend getting a USB port um, strip so that because you'll have multiple USB um, cables to plug in and you can just turn them on and off when you need to and so I think that was all that you needed for your equipment I'll do some other videos on some other things in a minute thank you